we are asking the House because uh, I believe the minister in the office of the president in charge of provincial administration and internal security carries the ultimate mandate of ensuring the, his department functions according to law. We are taking him responsible. We are asking him then, and the permanent secretary and secretary of the cabinet and head of civil service, and the government printer to step aside or be suspended from office until the Kenya Anti-Corruption Commission has submitted its report to parliament. We expect that government must account. Government must be responsive and government must respect the institutions we have set up to give us a new Kenya. And that if we allow this type of impunity to continue, then the new Kenya is unlikely to arrive. I'm surprised with my fellow honorable members of parliament. It seems they are playing cards under the table, not on the table. Because we agreed and I signed. Because I said my people benefited and the distribution was fair. There was equal distribution of the constituencies. But there was a problem before. The list which came out to the, to, to, to the public was not the list which was given by the Border Review Commission. What does Mutor has to do with, with government printing or government printer? So, in other words, when you are saying you want to censor Mutaura, then you are as well censoring even me as a cabinet minister. So I'm not with them, and I don't think they have the numbers, because after they started personalizing this issue, all the members who had signed are saying, no, now this matter has become personal, we are not ready for that. But this matter... I'm for the constituents, and as part of the government, I'm also urging the government printer to do the gazette notice. What if the machine at government printer broke out that time it was taken there? Now you are saying you want to censor Mutaura, you want to censor the permanent secretary, you want to censor the minister. What if they step aside today and the gazette notice is not done? I term this as pure rubbish and ridiculous. Eh? Because of one reason. First of all, in this constitution, we are upholding independence of judiciary. So judges should be able to sit from where they sit and do their thing and do their show. Just like us here, we do our thing and carry out our votes and it passes or fails. So you cannot come here and then we become the, like uh, we have breakfast with Jesus every day. So that if, if a judge passes a judgment that is not favorable to the MPs, it is yeah. good. That, that, that is now supposed to be censored. This is pure rubbish. And I'm putting it as much, so I don't need to worry that one. On this other one here, government printer is a department. We do not know what technical challenges they had on that particular day. If it appears it was sabotage, then let it be dealt with like that. Let us respect the de parliamentary democracy, but if parliament is about this kind of stuff, I'm not part of it.